My name is Mary Mattia. I teach at Highlands High School. Lacrosse has been a huge part of my life, uh, and I've always wanted it back in ever since I stopped playing, but I, I had a fuzzy idea in the back of my mind about maybe starting something here, but the first year was hard enough already. He came back to me with 22 signatures on a sheet of paper. At first, it was a jumble of different people. Like, you know how high school is, different cliques. We all came out, people hated each other, people didn't even know who each other were. You had skaters, you had jocks. You know, soccer players, mathletes like me, and just a jumble of guys. I just started researching everything I could, and I'd stay up late at night looking up lacrosse teams from the San Antonio area, and those league dues came to about six or seven hundred dollars. And that's just the initial, I mean, that's just the initial cost to be a team. That doesn't, that doesn't factor in equipment and balls and jerseys and your medical kit and everything, transportation. And I started picking up a phone and sending emails and contacting literally anyone I could find who had anything to do with lacrosse in this area. And then out of the blue, this team, Reagan Lacrosse out of the north side, they just, they loved our story. And then their lacrosse team um, decided that they had enough money <laughs> um, to give us to give us a thousand dollars. So they literally paid to be able to play games against us. <laughs> so now we had these really basic sticks that you're not allowed to play with and they're really flimsy plastic and it was just to get them started. I came holding one of those sticks and holding it and throwing it around with it. I was like, wow, this is the best. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Come on, guys. TMI, um, a private school up north, gave us like 15 sets of pads. St. Mary's Hall came and did a practice with us and presented us with a check for $1,400. In some way or another, every team in this district has helped. Finally, about two weeks before our first game, everyone had all the equipment they needed. You know, at first, it was, I'm not gonna lie, first year team, its course is gonna be horrible. So, she just tolerated it, and the things that we did, the wrong things we did, and the things we did do, she congratulated us on doing. I've literally had cops stop and be like, why are you carrying that? It's like, because it's a sport I play, and I have to explain to them why I carried a stick or something. And yeah, and it's a proud moment telling um, people that I play Highlands High School lacrosse. It's just an exciting feeling. To be a part of that, to be involved with this, has just, it's, 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 it's altered my perspective of everything. Because she brought a sport that you would never think is possible to a side of town no one ever thought would ever have lacrosse. And it's because of these, it's because of these boys. I mean, I've been blessed. I've been blessed. They're, um, they changed everything for me and they changed everything for themselves. Teach me more how to be a leader. I know that. I'm not their teacher, but I teach. Um, not their brother, but we hug and when they have problems, they come to me. So I hope they, I hope they represent the good that can come out of their community, um, the beautiful things that can come out of their community. And I have endless respect for them. And I don't think they'll ever be completely gone from my life. And I hope I won't ever be gone from theirs. We all love lacrosse. We saw it and fell in love with it. And that's enough to make a couple of people come together and be friends and be brothers.